Happy 4th of July, everyone. The celebration is continuing here at Epcot. I am so pumped to be here. I love Epcot, especially on special holidays like 4th of July. While we're waiting for all the festivities to begin tonight, we thought it'd be a good chance, since the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival ends tomorrow, to kind of go around and show you all of our favorite dishes. Uh, we've actually tried every single thing that they have at this Flower and Garden Festival. We have done it all. So we're going to show you the top dishes, the top things that you're going to want to do, because a lot of them will return next year. So let's go ahead and get this party started. All right, we just reached the World Showcase here. This is where the Flower and Garden Festival is. Now, there are a couple of booths over in uh, the area over by Figment and over by Test Track, but the majority of the booths are here in the World Showcase, and it's just such a different atmosphere here um, right now during the daytime. Tonight, it's gonna be a whole nother animal. Uh, it's gonna be totally different, so I'm excited for that, but it's kinda nice to be here a little bit earlier, just kind of like the chill, relax, uh, sort of like atmosphere, and let's get some food and drinks. I think we're here actually at our first stop because the two new folks here who have not actually done the Flower and Garden Festival, that'll be Wendy and Austin right over there. This is going to be their first time, so they're stopping here at Pineapple Promenade to get some new items for them. I don't know if they're going to be old items for us because we've tried everything, but I don't know what they're getting, so we'll see. Okay, it looks like they got the Dole Whip float with Fanta, Pineapple Fanta in it. So how is it, Austin? It's good, but it's too little for the price. Yeah, it's good. Is it better than the I Love You No, I think the other one had more like stuff in it. So I had like candy offered, syrup. This one's just like a small cup with Fanta and straw er, and um, pineapple Dole Whip. So the I Love You float at the Sunshine Terrace over at Magic Kingdom is what they're talking about there. Um, says it's a little bit better. They like it better, and I think it's a lot bigger than that, but also more expensive. I think it was like eight fifty, if I remember correctly. Um, but overall, it's pretty good. Not too shabby. I like it. But it's really hot out, so it needs to be twice as big. <laughs> well, we didn't get very far. We're at the refreshment port, which is literally right next to the pineapple promenade because somebody already wanted to stop here. So I chose to get the shrimp scampi poutine at the refreshment port. It's literally so good. It might be my favorite actually. It's 10.50 for this. I think that's a little much, but it is very good. I like this one as well. Um, it's not my favorite. You have to stay tuned to see which one I'll choose. But everything works really well with this. Um, I like shrimp scampi. Surprisingly, you know, I don't. I say I don't like spinach, but I can eat it on here. It's like spinach and artichokes are on here as well. Yeah, it's good. And I, this is probably my favorite though, like the little cheese curds. Mm -hmm. I do think ten dollars and fifty cents is a lot for a food here at the festival because a lot of stuff is under ten dollars. But it is so big, like it's a huge. It's literally an entire meal to itself, which I think is what scores it so many points. Because not only is it good. The flavor is amazing. Like if you like shrimp scampi and you like french fries, it's money, I'm telling you. Um, and it's literally an entire meal. So we've got like four or five people sharing this poutine because it's just so much food. Um, because if you were to just eat that by yourself, you probably aren't going to have much more room to try anything else at the festival. Uh, so we're sharing a lot of these dishes. Look at Pooh, he's so cute. I think he's one of the cutest ones besides Encanto. He looks so cuddly. Um, I feel like he's grown. He's a little bit thicker than he was. <laughs> he's super cute. Wow. These guys really take their job seriously. This guy hasn't moved for at least five minutes. I haven't even seen him blink. So it's a staring contest, is it? Let's see who blinks first. You win this round. Wow, I don't know how we missed this, but apparently the Toy Soldier's open now. It was closed for a couple of years during COVID, and it's finally back open. And I thought it was uh, 
newly opened because we haven't noticed that it's been open, but we don't really walk back into this space very often. But the cast member said it's been open for like since August. So, wow, we totally missed the boat on that one, but it's cool in here. I like this little store. It's like an extension of the um, the UK store over there, but it has like more like kid-friendly stuff. So we're going to Flavors of Medina now. Um, they have the hummus trio, which me and Lexi and I love hummus. And we've had this earlier in the festival. It was so good. So we're going to try it again. Hopefully it's as good this time, because you know, sometimes you try stuff in the beginning and the end, it's not as good or it's like completely different. So hopefully it's the same. We'll find out. Okay, so this was my number one pick for the Flower and Garden Festival. The Hummus Trio, what is, is this Morocco? From Morocco here. Um, this is my favorite because one, it's delicious, and, th and two, because it's more of a healthier option, and it's lighter. I feel like I love the shrimp scampi poutine, and like some of the, like the pretzel bread and things like that, but they're more heavy. So I feel like, especially on a hot day like today, something like this is perfect. And this is 5.50. I feel like that's a good price for three different types of hummus and chips and bread. All right, so there's a lot of stuff happening with these, uh, these hummuses. Let me just read them off really quickly. There's the traditional hummus, then there's a red beet and black garlic hummus and an avocado herb hummus uh, with Moroccan bread and crispy papadam. Now, I am not a big fan of hummus. I'm gonna be honest, not a fan actually at all. I, I could go my whole life without eating, eating hummus and I'd be perfectly fine, but I will say. You don't like it. That hummus right there. I tried it last time and the red beet and the avocado, those two hummus, hummuses were fire. They are so good. It, it actually was starting to question me. I was starting to question, do I actually like hummus? I'm gonna do this green one. No, we're both neglecting the red pepper one. <laughs> or whatever it's called. Mm. It's beet. It's beet. Mm. This one just this one just tastes like guac. That green one is fire. Grainy. I love the green. And the red beet. Fire. I like the hummus. I feel like um they're just as good as they were last time. Um, in the same portion as last time. And I think my favorite one is the one that has garlic. But really, I like all of them, even the beet one, even though it sounds weird. I, I like it. But yeah, I love the hummus. I could just sit and eat hummus and bread or crackers or chips or whatever all day. Not going to, but I could. Well, it looks like we're going to get rained on, and when you see the cast members putting the umbrellas away like that <laughs> and closing up shop, you know it's going to rain. It's not just going to be like a quick little drizzle, so we're going to head to the Jap uh, Japanese pavilion. Uh-oh, it's coming. We're running. we got to go. We're going to try and head to this Japanese pavilion, which is where we were going anyway, to the store. Woo! I think we're... All right, we made it. We made it. We're good. Every year they do have a special like slushy drink for the 4th of July. Really, it's actually there at the American Pavilion all the time. But they actually had a special one this this time, uh, the Soulful Note or something like that, which it wasn't really for 4th of July, but it still looks 4th of July. It's blue raspberry, it's cherry, uh, it's got frozen lemonade and vanilla ice cream in it. Looks so good. 
How is it, Wendy? It's really, really good. It's very refreshing, especially since it's really hot today. Can you actually drink it, or is it just is it mostly like ice cream? No, so it's like a float. So it has vanilla ice cream. Can't remember them all, but cherry Fanta slushy, blue raspberry slushy, and Minute Maid lemonade slushy, all mixed in there, and it's really, really good. Yum. Yeah. Well, I will say. The Flower and Garden Festival would not be complete if I didn't at least get my one of my favorite things I've ever had at one of these festivals because it's just like a sleeper hit, came out of nowhere, not expecting it all. And that would be the Pineapple Tahin. Once again, I've gotten this so many times. It's on other videos. I don't care. It's so good. Mmm! I mean, that just hits. You get one too? This is my, this is really, ah, this is really my favorite thing ever. It is so good. The first time she ever had it, I said, trust me, before she had it, I said, you're going you're gonna to start craving it after you have it. It's not like that's a re-release though. And now, and now, every time we're here, we got to stop and get it. It's so good. But it's gone after this festival, so it was our last chance. Woo. I'm going to be sad when this thing is gone. But let's wait till next year. So we just realized uh, when she picked up this drink over at the uh, American Pavilion, and this uh, this was only six dollars and fifty cents, and it was huge compared to the pineapple float that I got at the beginning. It was six twenty five. That thing was a that thing was like a baby glass compared to that, and it, that had a huge thing of ice cream on top. Like it was. All the way up here, and that thing was full. Yeah, that's a better deal. Yeah. 25 cents more, and you get so much more. Yeah, that's a better deal. Man, there? Yeah, that's... Hmm. What's up with that? Right behind me here is our next stop, which is the Florida Fresh booth, which is a new booth this year. We've not seen this one before. Um, and they actually have an amazing blackened fish slider here that was fantastic. So we're gonna, we gotta grab it again. Um, Nick's been dying for this all day. We've been waiting hours to get this thing. So I've already had this. Immediately, I realized I forgot to ask for no tomato. So I'm gonna have to chuck that off. Everything else looks just like it was the first time. Fish looks amazing. It was only six seventy-five. It's not bad. Amazing. I was t I was telling them earlier. I wish they had a bigger slider that you could get. Cause this small one is just not enough. So good. Fish is cooked perfectly. I think it's fresh. It's like really hot. Sauce on it. Lettuce. I waited all the way the full lap for this, so I'm enjoying it. Yeah, uh, we unfortunately, for the for like one of the few times ever, for some reason, we decided to go towards Canada first when we got here. Normally, I mean, 99.9% .9 of the time, we take Mexico. But Wendy wanted to stop at the um, Pineapple Promenade to get a drink right out of the gate, so we, we kind of went to the right first. And Florida Fresh is the last booth on the left here or it's the first one on the left it's the last booth on the lap so we've been waiting literally going around the world showcase for two hours waiting to get this sandwich was it worth the wait nick thousand percent <laughs> worth the wait. 
Our next menu item is going to be from this little booth over here by Figment and the Land Pavilion, which is the first time they've really used these uh, booths in order to give out uh, or to have the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival food. Um, but I'm excited about this one. This is my favorite thing from the entire festival. Normally, it's the vampire taco, vampiro taco over in Mexico. That's the same one I picked last year. I pick it pretty much every year. I still think it's the best thing at the Flower and Garden Festival, but I wanted to get something different this time because that, that just keeps winning every year. I don't know if anything's going to ever beat that. So I got this instead, which seems lame, but it's so good, and it is none other than, oh, oh yeah, the chocolate cookies and cream. I don't know what I just said. The chocolate cookies and cream mousse. Yum. This was so good the first time I had it. I, I have been craving it. And it has a little edible flower from Le from the land, from living with the land. So, um, yeah, I'm going to eat that. Oh, man, this thing looks so good. Okay, I, got, I think I got some of the mousse. I got some of the cookie in there. Oh my goodness! Yes! Yes! Oh yeah! Can you feel that, buddy? Huh? 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 Man, that is good! That is just as good as last time! What do you think? Did you get a bite? Oh, it's not good. Oh, I mean... It's so good. It's so good! Wait, what? Oh. Ooh, I want that flower. Ew. Let me Let me get a bite of that. I want this flower. Let me see if it's any good. It's not. Probably tastes like air. It's not good. I don't even know what it tastes like. <laughs> yep, I'm glad I picked this. Um, this is so good. I don't know why. This is this is so much better than, than it has any right to be. I don't really know what it's about. Um, I would have never expected it, but it's so good. It's just it's just mousse and like cookie crumbles. I don't know, but it's awesome. I love it. Yum. I can't say enough good things about this. And I'm sad this is the last, pretty much the last day for it. I think it's open again tomorrow, but we won't be here, so... Have to wait another year, maybe they'll bring it back.
Well, what an amazing day we had here at Epcot for the 4th of July. It was so awesome. Um, and I just want to say from our family to your family, we hope you've enjoyed this amazing 4th of July celebration these last couple of days. It has been so much fun. And uh, we just want to say, I hope you had a blast. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only joke I got today. Um, but until we see you next time, thanks again for joining us. Uh, the Noble Way. It's easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.